This is the second part of chapter 14, uh, Banking in the Digital Age. Last week we spent um, quite a bit of time on checks and the uh, traditional uh, process for uh, processing checks. Uh, this week, uh, the end of the chapter is pretty short, uh, and most of the resources will be uh, online uh, in Blackboard. And these slides just kind of outline the last few pages of the chapter. When we talk about uh, the digital part of banking, uh, one of the things we talk about is electronic funds transfers. This would be the transfer of funds through an electronic terminal telephone, the, you know, the traditional um, hard line, but, but also computers, tablets, smartphones, uh, other mobile devices that we can use to make electronic fund transfers, and even uh, still magnetic tape. Now, obviously, there's some issues with it. We, we talked a lot last week about uh, stop payments and doing it orally or doing it in writing. Uh, since electronic fund transfers happen so quickly, it can be difficult to issue an order. There are fewer records, um, which could be a good or bad thing. I mean, it's good when we're uh, not wanting to be uh, cluttered with a bunch of records, but when we want to document errors or go back and look at uh, the transaction, sometimes the, the records are a little sparse. And there is an increased risk of tampering. Certainly you can tamper with paper, um, signatures, etc., but there's a lots of um, issues that have come up. Uh, most recently, some um, point of sale transactions, uh, hacking uh, at Target and other major retailers, but also getting access to uh, personal information. Uh, there's law in both the consumer commercial area uh, governing leg fund transfers, the consumer area. There's the EFT Act of 1978, and you can look in your chapter for specific disclosure requirements, uh, rules about unauthorized transfers, as well as uh, penalties for violation and damages. Uh, when we talk about commercial electronic fund transfers, we're primarily talking about transfers by wire between commercial entities uh, handled through the Federal Reserve or New York Clearinghouse. And these are governed under Article 4A of the UCC. Uh, the, the, mo the four most common types of uh, electronic fund transfer systems are automated teller machines or ATMs, point of sale systems, direct deposit withdraw, as well as uh, internet payment systems. Also, um, there's a large area, growing area of e-money and online banking. Uh, talk about digital cash and smart cards, stored valued cards, uh, even cards with microchips in it. I mean, even today there's uh, issues coming up with uh, things like Bitcoin. Also, online banking services falls under this part of the chapter, as well as um, some major laws relating to uh, privacy protection. The e-money issuers' financial records are protected under the Financial Privacy Act of 1978, and consumer financial data under the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act of 1999. 